So let's try. So I, I am in normal speed. Good. Make it faster. To the left, to the right, slow, using the O-pad, normal again, far move right now, so then we try to okay let's try to adjust the speed settings make it faster and a little bit slower normal And there is the other control that you can use the O pad. And that's it for the demo of our ESP32 Wi Fi car. Okay. So now let's discuss how we're going to create our own ESP32 Wi-Fi car by following or using the library that I have created, which is the ESP32 Wi-Fi car. The library can be downloaded or can be seen in my GitHub repository, which is in the Dodonsky Tech ESP32 Wi-Fi car. And the, there are, the, the source file is in this folder and the, there are some examples file here on how you're going to use the library. So we're going to use platform IO in creating our ESP32 Wi-Fi car. So we open up our Visual Studio code and then create a project that is using the ESP32 board using the framework Arduino and then the next thing that you would do is that just add these dependencies which is the dependencies to my git library and the other dependencies which is the file system Wi-Fi and SPIFFS. Once you have done this then just go into the platform IO and then we'll just click the task called the build. So what this build task is going to do is that it will download all the library in this live depth folder under the .pio. So let's do that one. So what this build task is doing is it will download the project that we have, which is the ESP32 Wi-Fi car. Once it has downloaded the ESP32 Wi-Fi car, it will download also the dependencies, which is the ESP async web server and the async TCP. Okay, and then let's just wait for the whole build process to finish. Okay, so now that compilation is finished, the next thing that would, we would do is to edit our main.cpp. So by the way, uh, when, the, when the build task is finished, you would see that it has already downloaded the dependent library we have here the library that we have, which is the ESP32 Wi-Fi car, and the, the dependent library, which is the async web server and the async PCP. So the next thing that you would do is, we just copy this folder called the data folder, and then place it in here, in the root directory of your project. So I have already done that, so uh, I am not going to copy and paste it here. 
So the reason why we copy the data folder is because we're going to upload this one, this data folder, inside the file system of our ESP32. But before we do that, let's just uh, configure our main.cpp. So for our main.cpp, what we're going to do is just, we just copy the, the one in the examples, which is here. And then copy everything. And then after copying, we just paste it here in our main.cpp. And after pasting it here, the thing that we do is that you just change this one to the library that you have. The SSID, sorry, and password. So I just put my Okay, our, my SSID and my password. And then after putting my SSID and my password in here, then that's all that you need to do. So there's actually just minimal code in here. The important one is that we create the Wi-Fi car and we need to create a function, WS event function, which is a callback function that is being used to send command to our car. And after sending the command to our car in our setup functions, that what we are going to do is that we just initialize our serial monitor, connect to our Wi-Fi, and then initialize our file system, which is the SPIFFS. And the last one is just the, to start our project, which is the Wi-Fi car dot start. And then after running the Wi-Fi car dot stop, after doing the Wi-Fi car dot start, and then creating this main dot CPP. What we're going to do is just upload first our project into TSP32 microcontroller. So what we're going to do is just upload the file system image. So we're going to connect your ESP32 first into your USB. And then after connecting it into your USB, just make sure that the battery pack is not yet connected to your uh, to our project while we are connecting it to our USB because that that might uh, encounter some issues with our ESP32 and we might broke our ESP32 microcontroller. So take note of that. And then after downloading, uh, uploading the file system image, the next thing is just we'll just upload and monitor. So just wait for some time for this upload and monitor, monitor to finish and it will show you the IP address of your uh, ESP32 microcontroller. And then you can now access the application using that IP address. And after uploading everything, you, you just disconnect the USB cable. And after disconnecting the USB cable, then that's the time that you can plug in the battery pack. Uh, all of these steps in here is uh, can be found in my companion write-up. You can find in the, in the description of this video. And that's it. I hope you had fun using this library and you have learned something from it. Happy exploring!